Hello and welcome to another Linux lecture. This time we're going to be talking about text editing. In particular we'll be using a text editor called Vim. This should be installed on your Linux machine and we are going to invoke Vim with the name of a file which hasn't been created yet so Vim will create this file for us. Let's call it song.txt. Look, down at the bottom I can see the name of my file and I'm being told this is a new file. If I want to start typing into song.txt I need to press the I key on the keyboard which stands for insert. Look, down at the bottom we now know that we are in the insert mode and we can start typing text in the usual way. In this file I'm going to type out the words of the children's song Old MacDonald had a farm. Hope you know the rest of the words E I E I O and on that farm he had some cows E I E I O with a moo moo here and a moo moo there here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo, moo. Now, the final two lines of the song repeat the first two lines of the song. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. So, rather than typing out those lines again, instead I'm just going to cut and paste those lines. I'm pressing the up cursor key to go up to the start, and at the start of this line I'm going to press escape, which takes me out of the insert mode. See? Insert has disappeared. Oops, Daisy, sorry. Insert has disappeared from the bottom. Now I'm going to press V. I'm in the visual mode. I'm going to press the down arrow, and I'm going to go across to select all of these first two lines. Then I'm going to press the Y button. Look, it says three lines have been yanked. This is the Vim terminology for copying. I'm going to go down to my empty line bottom and now I'm going to press P to paste. There we go. Oh, MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Good. It might be the case that I want to insert some more code, so I press escape and then I to go back to the insert mode. Sorry, I said code, I meant text here. So I might say, this is a song. How's that? And here's my song here. Okay, now suppose I want to search for particular words in the song to see if they're there. I'm going to press escape. Notice I'm out of the insert mode now. And I press the uh, forward slash key forward slash, look it's appeared down in the bottom status line and let's search for hmm, MacDonald, how's that? MacDonald, I'm typing it in then pressing enter and the cursor moves to where MacDonald is if I press the slash again and then enter I go to the next to come to MacDonald and there are no more so you see the search wraps round again okay, good escape. Now, it might be the case that I want to do a search and replace. So, suppose instead of cows, I decide I'm going to have pigs on my farm. I'm going to do a search and replace to remove the words cows and replace them with pigs. Okay, press escape to make sure I'm not in insert mode and then I'm going to type Listen very carefully. Colon. See it appearing down at the bottom. Percent. S for search. Forward slash. And now into the thing I'm searching for. Cow. Forward slash. The thing I'm replacing it with. Pig. Forward slash. G to say I want to do this globally. So as many times as um, cow appears on each line. Now I press enter. And oh look. All the cows have turned into pigs. Great. There was a cow here, that's turned into a pig. Um, 
Is that the only one? Oh yes, that's the only pink. Okay, so the other word I might want to search and replace now is moo, which I should probably replace with an oink. Press escape, colon, percent s. So although cows go moo, pigs go oink. So I'm going to replace moo with oink globally. Let's press enter, and there we go. Much better. All the pigs have turned, sorry, all the moos have turned oinks. Now you'll notice in English we don't actually say with a oink, we should say with an oink here and an oink there. So we should probably do another search replace, I'm going to go up to the top here, okay, and I'm going to do another search replace, and this time I'm going to say colon percent s. I want to replace a with a space either side of it, so this is just a for a word on its own, and I'm going to replace this with an Okay, space either side again, that's the search pattern, that's the replace pattern. I want to do this globally, but I'm going to press C as well, which means I want to confirm individually each search and replace, because though I want to replace the A here with an, I don't want to do it here. Okay, so I'm going to do the global, sorry, the global search and replace, but I'm going to confirm every individual replacement. So let's press enter. This is a song. Do I replace that with an song? No. So I'm going to type n. A farm? No. Ah, here we go. With a oink. I do want to be replacing here, so I'm going to press y. I'm going to press y again. If I press a, it will replace them all. If I press q, it will quit the search and replace. And I can't remember what the other ones do, but never mind. Um, so I'm just going to press, uh, I think I'll press a now to replace all the rest in the file. Um, oh no, I won't, sorry, because the last one doesn't want to be replaced. So I'm just going to go y. Y, Y, N. There we go. So I've replaced the ones I want. Let's save our file. Press escape to make sure I'm not in insert mode. Colon W will write the file, W for write, and it's written it out to disk. Then if I want to quit VI, I'm going to press colon Q. And I've quit. And here's my song.txt. I can just print it out on the command line, uh, on the standard output rather cat song.txt and there it is. Maybe I'll go back into the Vim editor and do a little bit more editing now. Vim song.txt, press tab to do the autocomplete on the file name. Good, so here's my song. Let's think about this. Hmm. Suppose I want to um, navigate around the file. Normally I'd use the cursor keys. <laughs> Vim, the text editor, has been around for a long time and it used to be used on systems that didn't have keyboards with cursor keys. So in that case, when you weren't in insert mode, you could use the letters H to go left, L to go right, J to go down and K to go up. You see, hopefully on your QWERTY keyboard, H, J, K, and L are all next to each other on the middle line of letters. So you can use those keys to navigate around. That's still useful in some terminal emulators where the cursor keys aren't translated properly into key codes. Suppose I want to take my cursor to the first line of the file. I say escape, number one, and then capital G. So I need to shift and then press G. Suppose I want to go to the final line of the file, I just press capital G, and then down the bottom of the file there. Okay, good. Right, let's just think quickly about um, deleting characters and words. So here I am here, suppose I want to delete the single character underneath the cursor and I'm not in insert mode, I can press X and just delete that character. Look, it's gone. I'm going to press X again to delete that character. Suppose I want to replace the characters under the cursor. So at the moment, let's see, I've got carried I under the cursor. I can press R, replace it with any letter I want. The next letter I type will be the replacement, Z. There we go, it's replaced it with Z. Okay. If I'm in insert mode, press I to go into insert mode, of course, I can just use my backspace key to delete characters. Okay, and then just enter things when I replace them. 
I'm going to press escape to come out of insert mode and then colon W to save my file. Okay, what else might I want to do? I might want to delete a whole word. So I'm not in insert mode, and here we go with an oink oink here. Suppose I want to delete one of these oink words. I'm going to, with my cursor somewhere over the word, I'm going to type in DW. And that word's disappeared. Oh, sorry, it's the rest of that word after the cursor that's disappeared. Hmm. Let's undo that um, edit by pressing U to undo. There we go. And I'll take my cursor to the start of a word. There's the start of a word. And then press D, W. You press the D first and then the W afterwards, you see. Suppose I want to delete from the cursor to the end of the line. I press D and then dollar. Okay, that's shift four on my UK QWERTY keyboard. Suppose I want to delete the whole line on which the cursor is. I just press D twice. So it's D, 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 D. There we go, that line's gone, and the next line's moved up. Okay. I can press I to go to insert mode and start inserting something. Hello, this is some more text, enter. Or if I'm not in insert mode and my cursor's on a line, I can press O to open a new blank line and enter in the insert mode with a new blank line. Suppose I want a line underneath this one and start typing text, I'm gonna press O, and there we go, here it is. Another line. Great. Escape to out of insert mode. Colon W to save. Right. Um, is there anything else interesting I might want to show you? Yes. Let's think about undoing. So, um, if I want to undo changes, I press U when I'm not in insert mode. If I want to redo a change I've undone, I press Control R. There we go, it's come back, and I can undo as much as I like, and I can redo as much as I like, and there we go. And eventually, if we undo all our changes, we should come back to where we started. There we go, the oldest change from when we first opened the file, and I can save it again like that. Good. I think there's just one more thing I'm going to show you, and that is how to cut and paste. Remember I showed you copy and paste? Let's cut and paste. So let's take out this EIEIO -E from here and move it somewhere else. So I'm going to press V, when I'm not in insert mode, to start the, um, the cut. And then instead of pressing Y to do the copy, I press D, and that'll do the cut. Look, that whole line's disappeared now. Then I move to where I want to paste it, and I'm going to press P to paste, like that. So now I've got two EIEIOs at the end. Good, okay, colon, sorry, escape to get out of insert mode, colon, and if I say WQ, that will write and then quit, and there we go. And I can say cat song.text and see my rather messed around song on the terminal here. This is a song. Old MacDonald had a farm, and on that farm he had some pigs, E-I-E-I-O, with an oink oink here and an oink oink there, here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, E-I-E-I-O. Thank you very much.